Well, it is now January and that means it is time for yet another semester in Georgia Tech's OMSCS program. This is my second semester. Last semester was my first semester and I took Artificial Intelligence for Robotics as well as AI Ethics in Society. This semester I am also taking two classes. I am taking Artificial Intelligence, CS6601, as well as Software Development Process, which is CS6300. I was not originally planning on taking two classes this semester. Last semester I did take two classes, but those two classes were relatively easy and I already felt like that was tiring at times. However, I also just found out that you cannot take two classes at a time in the summer, so that kind of changes my planning, so that kind of leaves me to take the two classes during the fall and spring semesters instead. On top of that, I had some changes on my team at work where uh, someone who did a non-technical role left and switched teams. So for the near future, it seems like I won't be doing as much technical work since I'm kind of backfilling some of her responsibilities right now. Those are the two main factors that prompted me to take these two courses. I am definitely a little bit concerned though, but I do think there may be some mitigating factors for these two courses. By the numbers, it definitely looks pretty daunting, I'm not gonna lie, since on OMS Central it says the average workload for artificial intelligence is already almost 23 hours per week, and then on top of that, the second class, software development process, adds around nine hours a week. I'm not really prepared to devote 30 hours a week to schoolwork on top of my normal 40 hour work week, but I do think I should be able to get away with doing less than that for two reasons. The first of which is I've already taken an undergraduate artificial intelligence course. The second of which is software and development process hopefully will not be entirely new for me since I have been working as a developer for a little while. Now you might be wondering why I am deciding to take these two classes since I already do have a little bit of background in both of these classes. So I did take artificial intelligence at the undergrad level in this course, and I've looked at the syllabus and it seems like there are a lot of overlapping material. However, I did take it my senior year of undergrad, and at that time I was definitely pretty focused on enjoying my time with my friends uh, since it was the senior year of college, and I didn't really focus that hard on it. I did end up getting an A in the class, I think. But on top of that, it was the first time the class was offered at UNC, and the timeline didn't really work out as well as the professor planned, so we did have some artificial intelligence stuff, but we completely glossed over anything to do with machine learning, and there were only three programming assignments the whole course. So I'm hoping this will give me a broader overview um, and allow me to have programming exercises for a variety of topics in AI, not just a couple. I do want to have this class as a precursor to the machine learning course, um, because I've heard that it does this course does actually cover some machine learning topics. As for software development process, I did say that I am working as a full stack developer in my day job. However, that role is changing a little bit due to a departure on my team. But even then, there were only two full-time developers on my team, so I didn't really have to practice the best um, software development processes since there are only two of us and I would really like to have a formal education on software development processes before I move to a larger development focused team. I'm also excited to be programming in Java again because this isn't something that I normally do as I normally program just in Python and JavaScript. So I am excited to program in Java again. I did learn Java during my sophomore year of college, but that was now three and a half years ago. So I'm excited to have that refresher since it's something that I have on my resume and I'm worried about my skills atrophying a little bit. I know we're using Java because we are building an Android app and this is actually something that I've done before just as a personal project, but this was a long time ago, um, the summer between my freshman and sophomore year, and it was a very, very rudimentary app. I didn't use any version control because I didn't know how to use any of that at the time, so I'm looking forward to the refresher. Don't get me wrong, I'm 100% still terrified of this semester being too difficult or too much work for me. 
Reviews on OMS Central for Artificial Intelligence indicate that artificial intelligence is one of the hardest classes in the program and I really didn't learn that much in the undergrad class because I kind of just did it to get an A or did what I could to get a good grade and didn't actually focus on learning the material too much. Likewise for a software development process, I just don't think that I have that good of habits since I'm working on such a small team right now. And on top of that, I'm extremely rusty with Java syntax, I'm sure. But I do think that taking two classes this semester is pretty necessary since I am A, still working from home, which allows me to have more free time. And B, I realized that you can only take one class in the summer. So in order to finish a little over two years, you have to do two semester, two classes the fall and spring semesters most of the time and then one class each summer semester. Like I said, I don't think I can do that in two years, so it's gonna have to be a little longer than two years, but I would like to finish as soon as possible. I am definitely excited for this semester though in terms of the content that I'll be learning, and I'm excited because both instructors for these courses this semester are the actual course creators. With that being said, I will do an initial thoughts video probably four or five weeks in once I have a better feel for how the courses will go. Thanks.